You guys ready to go outside? Okay, let's do it. Ready? Good morning, everybody. It is the weekend and our potatoes are done, I believe. Uh, most of them have died off, so I'm going to start harvesting them today and see what we get. And then, obviously, <laughs> this whole garden is in need of a weed. So maybe I'll tackle some of that today, too. Oh, my goodness. I have the baby chicks out in this little pen here. I'm hoping to introduce everybody uh, this weekend. But yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna start harvesting these potatoes and I'll let you I'll let you see what I get out of it. Okay, so we've got our potatoes. Gary's got the pine cone he wants me to throw, which I'm obviously not gonna do in the garden. We've got our potatoes harvested. These are the greens. Um, I usually always look online to check before I give my animals anything. Uh, so I did that last night knowing that I would be harvesting the potatoes today. And you cannot give potato greens to your animals. Uh, it contains a toxin called solanine and it's toxic and poisonous to humans and animals. So I will not be giving these to the animals. They are going straight into the, the city compost. Um, I don't want them on my property. <laughs> um, same with tomato plants. They are a member of the same family. Uh, the fruits are edible, but the leaves and greens stems are not. So when these guys are done, I will be chucking those as well. Um, but this is the potato harvest. Let me get out of the way. Um, so what I had done is I actually cut all of my seed potatoes into quarters and let them scab over and start um, producing their eyes and stuff like that. I guess it's called chitting. I'm pretty new to this. So anyway, so I actually cut mine into quarters and then chit them and then put them into the ground after they were ready to go. So I basically quadrupled the seed potatoes that I had on hand and put them in the ground. Um, overall, I'm not too upset with the yield that I got because they actually tell you not to cut your potatoes into quarters. Um, but it actually worked pretty decent for me. I have to admit, uh, a couple of the potatoes did not have any growth or bulbs at all like no no roots um so none of there's a few that didn't produce anything just greens um but the ones that did produce produced probably two or three quite good sized potatoes per plant i figure i probably have 15 to 20 pounds of potatoes here and they're all in really good shape they all look really good no bugs have gotten to them, no rot. Um, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to bring out my trampoline, put them in the shade and cure them for a few days. I'm not going to wash them because they tell you not to because it can cause rot. Um, I also have a few russet potatoes that I could probably throw in the ground. Another um, crop in the fall. So anyways, I'm going to clean these up, these dead potatoes. I'm going to try to do a bit of weeding this garden. I need to figure something else out for next year because I cannot keep weeding all this stuff. I have to mulch it or something. But uh, yeah, 
we're going to try to do a little bit of cleanup. I'll maybe split it up between uh, today and tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to get these out and curing. And yeah, I'm overall pretty happy. There's still the, the previous tenant's potato patch over here that I have. So we're going to be pretty decent, I think. So you know how I give the animals treats tomatoes specifically to the chickens. I was out this morning feeding everybody and I noticed this right here. We have three little tomato plants growing. I have, oh, there's another one over there. There's another one. Um, yeah, so we have some tomato plants growing. I have no idea what kind of tomatoes they are, assuming I purchased them. So they must be tomatoes that I eat. But yeah, that's pretty funny. Some free food from the farm chickens. Exciting stuff. I'll have to put these in the garden. This is the baby chicken coop. Oh, you have to pull your foot. This is the baby chicken coop. I had let them out yesterday and had a heck of a time getting them back in last night. It wasn't too bad, um, but I had let them in the in their own pen, uh, and then I opened the door in the evening when I put the pigs and the goats in for the night. Anyways, long story short, everything went pretty good, so I opened this. I opened this coop door this morning for them and only a couple of them have figured out that they can come outside. Only four. <laughs> so everybody seems to be doing okay. These other ones just, uh, I guess, are a little shy. You gonna come out? You gonna come out with the other chickens? As you can see, we have a ton of wild blackberry bushes here. So I am in the pen and I'm cutting a bunch down for the animals to have as a snack or a treat, if you will, because they can't reach it. So we don't want these berries to go to waste. So we'll give them to the animals. There's plenty on the property. So I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about uh, sharing the blackberries. Oh, they're mean, huh? 